Hello, it's me, Russell. Uh, Merry Tableau 9.2. Uh, in honor of that release, I thought I would do a quick video. It's been a while since I've done one. I'm going to talk about the lock content permissions to a project feature. It's kind of a mouthful. It's one of my favorites. Let's take a look. I'm in a 9.2 server right now. I added a brand new site. Uh, in fact, this guy has a single project called default with a one workbook in it. Let's take a look at the permissions dialog. The first thing that we're going to notice is that well, things look a little bit different. I have this cool ability to sort of expand and collapse the various sets of permissions. That's kind of cool. You know, let's compare that to what we did in 9.1. This is cool, but I would say that uh, that this is cooler. You know, I can come in and edit in much the same way. Maybe I'll strip off this view permission and then save and close out. Let's jump into the project itself, take a look at the workbook, and view permissions. You can see that the change I made at the project level was not applied to this workbook. That should not be a surprise for those of you who've been doing this for a while. If you're anything like me, I'm constantly forgetting to click the Assign Permissions to Contents button or hyperlink. I don't know what it is. I can just never remember to do that. So let's go back and let's actually take a look at that. If I get back to my project and into Permissions and I go for that button, well, things have changed. Right now, permissions for workbooks and data sources are managed by the owner. I don't have that old button anymore. Uh, sort of good news, bad news. I always forgot to click that button, and now it's gone. So I don't have to worry about it anymore. I'll click this one instead. And what I'm able to do is switch how I manage permissions. I'm going to go ahead and lock to the project, which means that permissions for individual workbooks and data sources in the project cannot be modified. And furthermore, the permissions that are set right now will be applied to all workbook and data sources in the project when I save. Sounds good to me. I'm going to go ahead and save and close. Now we'll dive back into the project, grab my workbook, take a look at the permissions, and lo and behold, there's my modified permission. So that's pretty cool. Uh, all of this, by the way, is documented. Uh, looking at what has changed in the 9.2 help files, you'll see a reference to assign permission to contents, and actually a few of them. Uh, specifically, it says the assign permission to contents button is gone. Uh, our, our old friend is no longer with us. Also pointers to quick starts and the actual feature itself. So here is the quick start, for example. And in fact, much of what I'm going to do right now is pretty much based on the information here. One other change that you may be aware of or that you will eventually notice is this specific help topic. Uh, I've spent many an hour with this help topic reminding me of how, reminding myself of how permissions work. Well, we've added some new things, some things have changed slightly. So out with the 9.1 help topic, in with the 9.2 help topic. A little bit different, a little bit more information. Just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, back to Tableau. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Now, remember what we're looking at. We have a project at this point. In fact, I'll show it to you with permissions right here where we modified this one particular view permission and we're locked down on the project. I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new project. Why don't we call it a new project? Now, if you have been doing this for a while, you know what the permissions on a new project are going to look like. You know that projects inherit the base permissions from the default project in your site. So when we take a look, there's our modification that indeed was inherited, but here is a little wrinkle. Notice that we are back to being managed by the owner up here. So the property that remembers that setting is not copied over, at least right now, that may change in the future, but right now it's not copied over from the default project like the permissions are. Just something to, uh, to keep in mind when all is said and done.
Okay, so let's play around a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to actually go back in and kind of make this work the way I want it to. I, I do want to lock this down to a project. Good, so that's that's safe now. Uh, the other thing that I might want to do, let's go into default here. Let's kind of play around with this. Uh, here's sort of an interesting thing. I'm going to go ahead and, and change this back to managed by owner. And if I come in and, and edit this, maybe we'll make this editor again. In other words, green all the way across and save. Now, now when I go back in and take a look at this workbook, take a look at the permissions, the modification that I applied has not been applied. We're sort of back to the old behavior now. Now we're almost missing the assigned permissions to contents because there's no real way I can go back here and assign, excuse me, wrong version of Tableau. I can't assign that one change that I made to all of the workbooks unless I lock down the permissions again. So that's a little bit of a loss there in my opinion, but I think it's a, it's a pretty good trade off. Okay, so I have uh, at this point two projects. One has locked on the project for permissions. The other one allows the owner of objects to manage permissions. Let's go ahead and play with Tableau Desktop now and get a feel for the publishing behavior. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and publish. I'm logged in as a user already. I'm going to publish to default, which is where we are allowing someone to modify permissions. They're not locked down. I'm going to grab my new user. Here's my edit button. I can come in and play with this to my heart's delight. And we'll go ahead and maybe even publish. As one would expect, that's out on the server now. If I go in, here's my new one. We'll take a quick look permissions. And here are all of those changes that I made. It's pretty much working the way we thought it would. Let's change this up a little bit. Let's go ahead and go to server and we'll publish again. This time we will publish to a new project. See what happened? My edit button just disappeared because I have no ability to change the permissions. Uh, I'm not going to actually even bother publishing at this point, or maybe I will, just so you can kind of see what happened. Uh, that's the main difference. Uh, whether a user likes it or not, when they publish a workbook to the second project, they are going to get the permission set as assigned by the administrator. I quite like that, actually. Let's go ahead and refresh this project. And we'll get into home and a new project. Open this guy up, take a look at permissions. And you're going to see that it has the base permission set that we applied to this user when we first started playing with it. So that's it. A little bit of something new. Uh, we've lost some things. We've added some things. We have some new help topics for you to look at. Uh, I hope you have fun with this. Uh, I am looking forward to locking down my projects.